If you're pregnant and you're getting ready to deliver vaginally, let me guide you step-by-step -step on how to do a perineal massage. Doing this massage consistently can potentially help decrease your risk for tearing during delivery. I'm Dr. Alex Hill, I'm a board certified women's health physical therapist here to help you get ready for delivery. Before we dive in, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more pelvic health content. So before we start, always check with your medical provider first to see if doing a perineal massage is right for you. Some reasons that you do not want to do this massage is if your water is broken, if you have an active vaginal infection, thrush, or genital herpes. You should also wait until you're 34, 35 weeks pregnant to start the perineal massage. There's really no evidence that starting it earlier than 34 weeks is more beneficial. So hold off until 34 or 35 weeks. That being said, doing a perineal massage can help decrease your risk for tearing, but it cannot guarantee that you won't have tearing. Check out my video at the end of this one that goes into other tips to help you decrease your risk for tearing. So in this video, I'm going to guide you step-by-step step through how to do the perineal massage by yourself if you're solo or if you have a partner. Step one is to wash your hands or if you have a partner doing the massage, have them wash their hands. Next, you're going to get into a comfortable position. You can get into a semi-reclined position so your head is elevated, your back and your legs are supported. This is a great position to get into if you have a partner helping you. If you're doing this solo, you can also recline in a bathtub with one leg up at a time, the shower with one leg up, or even just sit on your toilet. You're then going to use a small amount of either unscented water-based lubricant. I like this one, Good Clean Love. Or you can use oils like a vitamin E, coconut or almond oil on your finger. So you're going to lubricate both your finger, thumbs, and you're going to lubricate the vaginal opening. You want to avoid using baby oil, petroleum jelly, and mineral oil. These things can irritate those tissues. So with your lubricated fingers, thumbs, and vaginal opening, you're going to place the pads of your thumbs at the vaginal opening and you're going to press downward to get a stretch. If your partner is doing it, they can just use their index finger and press down or use their index and their middle finger and they're just pressing downward. If you're doing this solo and you're having a hard time reaching, you can also use something called a pelvic wand. This one is from Intimate Rose. This is one of my favorite ones to use and it has a soft silicone covering. Since it's silicone, you do wanna make sure that you're using that water-based lubricant and not an oil. And go ahead and grab that pelvic wand. You're going to insert it just at the opening here and you're going to press down. You're going to hold this downward stretch for one to two minutes and it should feel like a deep stretch, but you shouldn't have any pain. While you're doing the stretch, make sure that you relax your body and your pelvic floor muscles by doing some deep breathing and really focusing on that sensation of letting everything go. The more you tense, the harder it is to get that good stretch and mobility of those tissues and muscles. After you hold this stretch down for one or two minutes, then you're going to make a U shape and massage with your index finger or your thumbs. So pressing straight down, you're then going to move out and up along the sides. Again, that's with your thumbs if you're doing it by yourself. If you have a partner, they can use one or two index fingers pressing down and then coming out to the sides to get that U shape. So we're stretching down and out. And for that U massage, you can use the pelvic wand. You're still going to have it inserted, pressing straight down, but then you can do that U shape to get that massage that you need for the bottom part of the vaginal opening. Again, focus on that deep breathing and relaxing your body and your pelvic floor. You really shouldn't have pain. A little discomfort's okay, but that typically gets better as you continue to do this massage. So with that U massage, pressing down and out you can do that for one to two minutes so in total with stretching down and doing the u you're really only massaging for two to five minutes keep up with doing this massage a couple days each week i hope that you found this video helpful in getting ready for your vaginal delivery please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more pregnancy postpartum and pelvic health tips